Hello, and welcome to the latest episode of Beyond the Book, Oceanside. My name is Ashley. And my name is Sarah. We created this video series for families like yours. We decided to take this episode to the sea because the summer reading program is called Oceans of Possibilities. This is a great way for your family to get together, to read, learn, and create together by doing a summer reading program. So the inspiration for this episode is a book called Beneath the Waves. It's a National Geographic kids book written by Stephanie Warren Drimmer. So I spent maybe about 15 minutes browsing through this book. I did not read it cover to cover and that's okay. It's a great book filled with illustrations and pictures about the ocean. And I just kind of thumbed through it until I found a page that seemed interesting, like this one that taught me about the zones in the ocean. For example, there's the sunlit zone that goes down to about 650 feet. That means the sun is lighting things like sharks. And you can see that. And then there's the twilight zone. Just a bunch of weird stuff happens there. And the midnight zone where no sunlight reaches at all and a bunch of terrifying ocean creatures live. And then I kind of flipped through the book some more until I found something else that seemed interesting to me. Like, I don't know, sea urchins or the beautiful sea cucumber. And even though I didn't read the whole thing, it still counts as reading. And I can check off one of the bubbles on my game board. So on our game board, we have A's for activities and each bubble is 15 minutes of reading. So that accounts to eight activities and 10 hours of reading. What, wait, 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 10 hours? Yes, 10 hours. But you can complete one bubble a day, 15 minutes every day for the whole summer and get it done, no problem. And if you're going on vacation with your family, you can check out a playway. So you can listen to an audiobook by yourself with headphones, or you could even get an audiobook CD that you can listen to with your whole family, say, on vacation. So okay. a couple hours can be knocked off just doing that. I got it. So if you're taking a vacation to the beach from Missouri, that's a lot of driving and a lot of audiobooks. Right. You can knock up a whole game board just in one trip. Perfect. Okay, so not the whole summer. Right. <laughs> and teens, if you're looking for a special audiobook, there's a special program called Sync that's available through our website. It's a summer audiobook program just for kids age 13 and up. And there's themes every week, so you can listen to some great audiobooks that way. And maybe podcasts are more your thing instead of audiobooks. We have something called the Planet Book Podcast, which is available on our website under teens or through Apple or Spotify. And it's basically conversations with our favorite librarians talking about books they like or books they don't like very much. And even some interviews by some of your favorite authors like Alan Gratz or Stuart Gibbs. The point we're trying to make is that there are tons of ways to complete the summer reading program. Do you love comic books? Read them. Maybe you have a routine where you read before bed every night. Perfect. Perhaps your baby brother kind of gnaws on the book a little more than you know, reading it. But that's exactly what these indestructibles are for. It's so babies can get used to spending time with the book, put it in their mouth to explore, get used to the pictures. It all counts as reading. You could even read to a dog and it would count. Yes, you could read to a big fairy dog at the Schweitzer Brentwood branch all summer long, starting June 8th, every Wednesday from two to three. And Reading Pals is just a really great way to read in a fun environment and be able to check off some more of those bubbles. The other aspect of the summer reading program is doing activities. That's what all these A's are for. And on the age zero through five game board, you'll see that everything is an activity. On the back, there's tons of recommendations for what you can do as an activity. And we really want to highlight the fact that reading, playing with books, looking at books, eating a book, it all counts as reading, which all counts. So please, read to your baby. Even if she's playing while you're reading, she's still listening to the words that you're saying, and she's seeing that you're enjoying reading a book. It's gonna help her learn how to read later. So we've got Reading Pals, Planet Book Podcasts, watching an episode of Beyond the Book, of course. We even have magicians, jugglers, zookeepers, and puppeteers coming this summer. So make sure to ask your favorite librarian about the whole summer schedule for our summer reading program. You can also check on our website or bookends to find out. That sounds terrific. So how do librarians know that you've read the 10 hours for your game board? 
We just know. <laughs> the main thing is have fun this summer reading and grab a game board at your nearest library and have fun. Oceans of possibilities wait for us this summer. Let's get back to reading. Definitely. Hmm.